Hi, I'm Mike. You may need to replace the control panel on your range if you notice that yours is damaged or not functioning properly. For this repair, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver and a quarter inch nut driver. Before doing any repairs, completely disconnect your appliance from its power source. To begin our repair, we're going to remove this upper back panel. This will allow us to gain access to the control board assembly. So once that upper back panel has been removed, the control board assembly is going to be located right here. Next, we're going to disconnect the wires that are connected to the control board assembly. Once all the wires have been disconnected from the control board assembly, next using our Phillips head screwdriver, we're going to unscrew the control board assembly from the top panel of the range. So once all the screws have been removed, you can remove the control board assembly. Next, grab your new OEM replacement control board assembly. If you don't have one of these already, you can find one at one of our online stores. We're going to position our new OEM replacement control board assembly to the inside panel of the range. Using our Phillips head screwdriver, we're going to screw the new control board assembly into place. After the control board assembly is screwed back into place, next we're going to reattach all the wires we took off previously. After all the wires are put back into place, next we're going to screw in our top back panel. After you check and make sure that the upper back panel is secure, your repair is complete. Finally, don't forget to plug in your appliance. Thanks for watching our video. Please like, comment, or share. And if you liked our video, please subscribe down below.